Hi, uh, so this is a video tutorial for petal number nine. So in this video, I'm gonna be using a midi. Uh, I'm gonna be making a medium sized flower. And when it comes to sizing, please refer to the sizing and the petal counts that I provided, which is included in your download. So medium size, basically, uh, most of my paper flowers. It has six different sizes. It's either one, two, three, four, five, or six, or A, B, C, D, or F. So basically, this small pet, uh, medium flower, I use the C, D, and E petals. So I already pre-cut my template, uh, my petals. Each layer has six uh, pieces. So six pieces for the C. Six pieces for the D and six pieces for the E. Uh, of course, you need to have your curling materials. I use dowel rod for mine. It has three different sizes. And I have my base. And the base for the medium, you could have 3.5 of the 4 inches in diameter. Depending on the base of your petal. So like this one that it's narrow. I only would use 3.5 but if it's wider because petals are not the same there are petals that has a wider wider base if it has a wider base I would recommend to use the larger uh, flower base also so we have our centers I have here the flat dandelions in three different sizes so we're going to layer this one to you know create some interesting center into our flowers and of course if you haven't cut you're using the PDF templates you need your scissors and our glue gun and hot glue so let's make this quick and shorter compared to my other videos so let's get started so first thing once you already cut your petals the first thing that you are going to do is to make a slit on your uh, petals so I already shared the principle of cutting the slit the larger the petal the deeper the slit so as you go smaller the narrower your slit gets so I'm cutting the slit six at a time not just because I want to make it faster but for the purposes also that it has a uniform depth on it so this is the second petal a second layer as you notice, it gets uh, shallower and the third. So this petal, this petal design is very, very easy to make. So not much complication when it comes to curling. The first thing that we are going to do, this is how the, this is the way how I do mine. I just try to softly curl the petals three sheets at a time and the sides curl it outward so let's take care of this one later I'll give you some options also so that's gonna be how curl the sides of our flower and let's proceed to the three remaining petals of this layer the sides outward so basically the orientation of this uh, little thing here is going through my left so you could do it on your right depending on the how the way how you do it but I prefer mine to be this way so done with our first layer Let's move on to our second layer. Again, we're working three petals at a time and curling it. And because it has, it's a smaller petals now, I'm using a smaller dowel rod. So once we have the soft curl, we're curling the sides outward also. Like that, and work 
working on. My last set of three of this layer. So done with our second layer, let's proceed to our third and final layer of this uh, flower. So again, this is petal number nine and I would include the link below of the listings where you can find this particular petal design. Uh, it comes in PDF and it comes in SVG also and DXF for those who have cutting machines so the same way we are just curling the sides and soft curling the middle Now we're done with our uh, curling, it's time for us to glue the flaps together. So this one now, we cannot do it, you know, three at a time. What we can do is one at a time. So one, two, four five and last six so that's our first layer moving on to our second layer one two three four five and six so to our last and final layer Four, five, and six. So once we glue the flaps together, it's now time for us to assemble the petals into our base. So again, we're using a 3.5 uh, inches base since we have a narrow uh, base on our petals. So the way how I do mine, again, if you have been watching all my videos, this is how I glue my uh, petals to my base. I'm only putting glue half of the base. 
and keeping the other side open so that when you know we arrange it around it looks like it's one atop of the other so in a staggered way so this the third and fourth layer again that's the main reason why we're keeping this side open here so that we can sneak the two templates and appearing it like it's two it's one atop of the other arrangement and now we can secure the open ends so to our fourth oh no the fifth and sixth layer and I'm already liking it actually this is one of my oldest design I haven't really made a special tutorial for this yet so here you go I like the, the colors also so that's our first layer now moving to our second layer so one thing that I want to remind you guys because we already indicated that we're going to use a flat center we have to make sure that the way how we're going to put our layers of petals into our base we should move the next layer should move inward attempting to have the smallest possible uh, base that we can see because see the the whole uh, the the solid area of this flat center is very small this is the the size that we we are opting to have after our third layer so that we can just easily cover it with our flat base however if you are going to use a floppy center we can opt for you know leaving this area of your base because you have your floppy center to cover it anyway so proceeding to our second layer again the same way as i did with the first layer just half of the petal and the other half is open and i place it in between the two previous uh, petals so second petal at the exact opposite area so on the second layer we don't have to hold it like we did earlier on this on the two petals in between because now we have a guide that this is we should place it in between the two previous petals so when we do that we don't really have to eye where 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 and where because we have already an indicator so we just have to keep it open so that we can sneak also the other petal on the side so that's the third this is the fourth the fifth and the sixth final petal for this layer so you can choose you know to glue the the loose ends but for me especially if it's light and it's really not bulky i don't mind at all because anyway we're putting our third and final layer so we really have to we cannot feel the loose ends anymore so our third layer is parallel to our first layer so it's like a window window setup for our petals to our second so basically we obtain 
our goal to really keep a minimal uh, space in the middle so that our flat center would able to cover it with no problem and you know just in case you use a larger a larger base and you have a larger opening and when you put your uh, flat center you can still see the base so what you would do if you have some leftover of the same uh, paper you can cut a circle enough to cover the hole before you will place your uh, flat center in it so it would look uh, you know all right at least Now that it's done, we have a choice to curl the the this thing here, but I would not because I wanted to emphasize the de design of the petals. So what we're going to do now is to lay our flat centers. So you can basically just put one flat center on it and you can call it a day as long as it covers the the hole like that. But we want to give it a layer so we have the second and the third uh, si smaller sizes so what I am trying to do now to create a layer I'm just pushing these tentacles upwards like so and glue it to your center also to the last and final layer will do the same so now the la layering of uh, the center really gives it more depth more dimension and more layer on your flower it's not boring flat like so what even would make it more special if is if you have you know either flat uh, flat pearl or any crystal that you can put in the middle it would really look good on this particular center so, so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys like this video tutorial finally after more than a year you know be able to make one so thank you so much for watching until next time until next tutorial bye